this is London Silver, and uh, if there's any background noise, don't even mind it. Uh, sorry I've been gone and haven't really posted a real video. Also, uh, I'll be doing most of my announcements on uh, my community page or my com community tab. So just go check out those, and also I just post random stuff too. Probably ideas for different content. So, uh, and also my content. Also, go follow me on Twitter. It's the same thing as my username on my name on uh, YouTube. So, uh, now let's get on to this. This is What If Deku Was in the SCP AU of the Dream SMP. Let's get on to it. I went to work to see uh, what different SCPs I would be assigned to today. I would not be able to go to my regular SCPs that I visit. I then read my schedule. You will be w visiting SCP W one B L B zero R SCP F two N D Y and SCP D R three four M. I froze at the seams that made me freeze in time, as if everything was still. I felt a ch shiver run down my spine, and I felt. The feeling of dread hit me like a brick. All I could hear was my my heart beating, remembering our encounter that day on the site with those neon green eyes that looked like lights on his face in black holes. I almost fell to my knees before I ran and grabbed my phone, immediately calling the site head. I yelled how I could die. They just said there was nothing they could do. And... Good luck. They hung up. And I stood there, not moving an inch. Do they really not care? Am I just someone they could throw away? Am I replaceable? No. I I can't. No, I... I have to find a way to stay alive in this organization. So I can go back home. So I could see Mom again. To my original world. I got ready and went to work, dreading the last visit on my list. I went to my first SCP, SCP-W1LB0R. I walked in to see a man with curly brown hair. I then looked away to look at my files. SCP-W1LB0R is a six-foot ma tall male of British descent, with brown hair and blood-red eyes. He is able to make explosion and TNT by will, and also have an affinity for music. He most, he's mostly chaotic and bothers f SCP f uh, PH1LZ4, or Phil, when he can. Of course, he only make, makes explosions because of negative emotions, which is usually anger. He's able to make man so many explosions that are equal to the most powerful nuclear bombs of the government. He has been given multiple guitars to satisfy his need and wants. He also has an emotional connection to SCP. PH1LZ4 and seems to look at him as a father figure. He is no, he knows of other SCPs on site but has never interacted with them in the foundation, but has explained that every SCP has at least met once altogether and once one on one, at least once. But will not explain how or why or when. He only says certain things in the past caused us to come together and come and to separate. And then, now we're here. I then say, hello, SCP-W1LB0R. I'm your new visitor. My name is Yuzuku Midoriya. I hope we can get along. He looks at me and says, hey, just call me Wilbur. And how long are you here for? I say, about an hour or so. Um, okay. Is there any SCPs, you know, that are maybe relatives or friends? 
I say. He then says, Yeah, Filza is my dad. Fundy is my son. Techno's friend. Tommy is like my little brother. And I know mostly the whole SMP. The, the whole dream SMP. I say, What's the dream SMP? He looks at me with a smile and says, Also, uh, if I get anything wrong, just put it in the comments. Sorry. Okay, sorry for that. <clears throat> I will tell you a story, okay? I reply, okay. He then says, The Dream SMP was such a wonderful place. I built a country from a drug van. You know that? <laughs> yep, all started from a drug van, and it had started a war. I called my country Lemanburg. I had people of my own, you know. I had subjects. I was the president. I never wanted conflict, but the Dream SMP, they declared it. Seven years. I spent seven years fighting for our independence. And we got it. But in the words of Dream himself, Lemanberg can be independent, but it can't be free. Funny, isn't it? Then I lost my country, and I was exiled from the very country I created, and I blew it up. And to punish myself for my sins, I begged my father to, father to kill me. And he did, out of guilt. I pity the other thing, the things that went through his mind at the time. I died and went to the afterlife, and not too long, I met Schlatt, the man who took my country, but there was nothing else to do but to just stay. It's better than being alone, I thought. But there's nothing I can do now, so yeah. At least I got to see them again. <clears throat> so this is, like, in this uh, alternate universe. Uh, he was still in that decade of where he was guilty about uh, blowing up the nation. And, uh... And he was still in that, like, part where he was getting over his guilt. So he isn't, like, the alive burn now. So, yeah. Let's continue. I was in awe that someone had to go through that. But I didn't think I could do anything, or even at all, if I could help. All I could do was hug him, and I cried for him. I said, I'm so sorry you had to go through this. I'm so sorry. He hugged me and held me like a child, as if he's done this before. Soon after, I fell asleep. I woke up to the loud speaker saying, Exit the room and leave for your next SCP, Scientist Midoriya. I was shaken up and got up and said, Sorry, I need to go. Bye, Wilbur. See you around. I put in my card to the keypad and walk out and hear the door shut behind me, and I walk down the hall, and I feel a bit uneasy as time goes on. I then reach my next SCP. I look at my clipboard and read my next SCP. SCP-F2NDY SCP-F2DNY is a 5'8 male of Dutch descent and has orange hair and black eyes. He has a large fox, large fox ears and a tail, and he says he is a coder. He is able to make, pull up a screen in midair and swipe through it like an iPad. He can hack into anything and has broken through the firewalls and has made multiple games for multiple SCPs for fun. We have discovered that SCP-F2-NDY is the son of scp w one L B zero R and they both seem to acknowledge this, but will not tell unless is asked about it. He is able to make fire, but he rather not use it. But he rather use his tech abilities. When asked about his mother, it was answered by a f odd answer. My mother is a salmon, a literal fish. My father had me with a fish. 
it's fine. Uh, go on and process it. Uh, it's fine. Uh, I had the same reaction when my dad told me about it. And we discovered the odd birth of SCP-F2NDY. I stopped and read it again, and I said out loud, What the f- am I- What the fuck? I- I'm a bit worried. <laughs> and then walk in and say, Hello, SCP-F2NDY. I'm Izuku Midoriya, but you can just call me Izuku. The room had a sort of hill and a burrow thing, and he comes out. The guy that seemed maybe older than me, maybe? And he looks as it it does described. He says, Hi, just call me Fundy. I say, Oh, okay, cool. All these SCPs seem to have had names before, but why not just call them by their names? I shake my head. I shake my head at the thought and say, I'm going to be here for a while, so tell me about yourself before I probably go to my death and visit. Uh, might as well make a new friend, yeah? He then says, oh, I'm sorry, which SCP are you going to? I might know no, know them. I say, it's SCP DR34M. Not, but other SCPs call him Dream. He stops and gets an angry look. Yeah, I know him. We were going to get married at some point, but he decided he didn't want to get married, so yeah. I'm so mad about it, but at least I have five up. I say, who's five up? He then says, oh, he's a friend. I think he's a researcher. Not sure, but he works here, I think. I say, oh, okay. Well, let's get to know each other. For the next few hours, we hanged out together. And honestly, I liked it. It was like talking to an old friend that you've known for ages. I soon thought of him as one. I heard the dreaded sound of the speaker and the request it made. Please go to your next visit, Researcher Midoriya. We said our goodbyes and I left. Every step felt colder and colder, like I'm stepping into my doom. I don't know if my doom is my death or something worse, but I stopped in front of his containment and gripped my fist. I won't take this from some guy who has powers. I have abilities too. I won't let him try to frighten me. I can throw him to a wall and set him on fire for God damn it. I don't need to fear him. I need to make an example of him, not to mess with an incarnator. At least I think that's what I am. But first I need to at least spend an hour with him and get information on him, or even nothing. I walk into the room to see a white room with a table in the middle that seemed to be cemented to the ground, and a chain leading to the foot of SCP-DR-34-M. I sit down at the table, across from him. The air was thick. It was like time froze. We just stared at each other which felt like hours after a bit, he spoke. Oh, so the O5 cancel, Council finally permitted me to talk to you. How do you feel right now? Scared? Anxious? I sat up straight, not letting my face or muscles rest on edge, and I say, I'm only here for a while, so spend it actually saying something that could me be not report you and how you escaped. If your researcher friend will s still be here, I mean, he was the one who was in charge of you, so what do you think the consequences will be if he let a very dangerous SCP loose on the site? What will happen then? I smiled. The tauntish smirk Tontish smirk he had had gone into a frown and into an irritated face, though I couldn't see his eyes due to his mask in front of it. He quickly tried to get up, but I moved my hand a little under the table and turned the cams in the room away from the table to a wall and then tugged on the ch 
then forcibly tugged on the chain, of course, with telekinesis that he was connected to, and closed my eyes when he was close to attacking me, but I didn't feel anything. I slowly opened my eyes to see SCP-DR34-M on the floor, and his forehead was bleeding and the mask was cracked. I kept sitting for n for not knowing what to do, but just sit there. Before long, he got up and yelled, Who the hell was that? Was that one of the others? I swear to God if, God if it's one of the miners. He yelled at the cams, which didn't notice, were turned. I say, Calm down. Or do you want to go through protocol? Protocol. Fuck. I only glanced at the proto glanced at the protocol, but I'm pretty sure we have a dummy of researcher George and tortured the dummy in front of SCP DR three four M for something along those lines. He surpri surprisingly obliged and sat down for a bit, only for a bit before quickly turning into his monstrous form, growing in size, and going to slash at me. I tried to scoot my chair, but it wouldn't go far enough. It wouldn't go far enough and actually right for me. His claw almost reaching my face within a few minutes, and then... Okay, that's the last bit. Sorry. Fuck. Okay, so, uh, any ideas in the comments, just put them down, and this is, uh, the end. Goodbye.